So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about synthesis and what it's been like. I've done the one month training with synthesis and I've also done my second, you know, the, the second month I've done one class with actual students. So to talk a little bit about paper, I'm going to talk a little bit about papers, then what my training was like, and then I'm going to talk about what the actual teaching is still training, but I was actually teaching the students or well, a TA with them. So the first part is in um, synthesis, there is TA, teacher assistant, and there is teacher. Teachers get $50 an hour and TAs get uh, $25 an hour. They've recently created a change where instead of having a TA and a teacher in one class, they want to have only one TA or only a teacher and they're going to pay them $35. So that's not $35 an hour. That's not for all classes, but it's for some of them. And you can only do this if you're a TA that has been a TA for more than six months. Okay, so um, this is kind of a step down for some teachers because they're getting 50 and they have a TA to help them. And so working without a TA and getting paid less is kind of like a step down. And for the TAs, it's a step up because you're going to be, you know, doing the class yourself and you're going to be getting paid $10 more. So there's that <laughs> to consider. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how it, what, what it's going to look like for new uh, TAs because they're, um, they haven't been teaching for six months, so they're not going to be able to do that. And I'm not sure if they're going to do that for all of the classes. So if everyone is just going to get paid 35, um, I, I guess I just want to um, lessen um, the pay that they, because they spend like $75 per teacher and TA together per session, per hour. So maybe they just want to lessen that uh, and they believe that they don't need like two, two people in one class. I would definitely say um, the opposite, um, but I'll tell you about that later. So, um, so that's a little bit about the pay so far. During, you can also do an extra hour, I think a month of like additional training like going into um, zoom meetings and they talk about different things like students that don't behave or certain games etc so there are some of these things that are billable so that you get paid for them and some of them that are non-billable um so you don't get paid for them it's totally up to you if you join the non-billable ones or not and there's some billable that you don't have to join them but if you want to add like an extra hour to to your week or your month then then you can um okay so there's that and the, the way that you get paid for now is you go into a timesheet and you pretty much write down what like you enter what you've done so i would enter like under teacher training i would say i've done one hour this week and 15 minutes of looking through the the announcements of the week so i could bill up to like one hour and 15 minutes and then during the whole month i could get another hour if i entered like a, a meeting to talk about like specific things like a billable meeting um i didn't do the billable meeting but i did you know um click in my one hour and 15 minutes each week for the training um but you do it yourself like you add comments and you add so um you have to you know keep in mind what you've done during the week so you can add it so it's not something you just i don't know enter the platform and then the platforms like already knows how many hours you have to get paid you have to add them so i thought that was interesting because i've never done that with any company um and they're currently changing that type of timesheet and they're moving to another one so i'm not sure what this is going to work or how this is going to work but i need to add my my billing information again with this new new like external company that that pay that um that is the one that um will you know um send me my pay um this new one doesn't accept paypal so i'm gonna have to add like a u.s bank account and i'll see how that works in south america where i am now uh so talking about that the company has a lot of constant change so if you are someone that is okay with constant change you know like learning new things uh, as you go then this is the company for you i know some people prefer you know one thing you know you you kind of accept that you're going to have a lot of changes at the start of joining a company but then you ex expect it to run a little bit more smoothly this company will have a lot of changes where you have to kind of keep up with it you have to see what's happening what the new change is how they changed a new game or how they added something new, etc. So there's that. So I think if you want to work with this company, you definitely have to um, be, you have to have a certain type of personality and a certain type of skill set. So I'll talk about that at the end. So talking a little bit about my training now, 
Like I said, it was one hour and 15 minutes that I could bill so that I was going to get paid. The one hour was for each module. And there's a module of how to use Slack, how to use the platform, how to use this. So there's like one every week. Um, you just, you don't do it like with anyone there. You do have like a chat where um, you have a trainer that does help you if you have any questions, but you're pretty much like doing it by yourself. There is a handbook that has like so much information. It's impossible. Like it would literally be impossible to read everything because it's everything about everything from the company. But um, in the module, they're very specific, like read this part, read this part, this part. So it will pretty much take you an hour. Some of them will take you less, um, maybe 40 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And for me, for example, playing the actual game and learning how to play it took me like three hours. So I couldn't bill like an extra three hours, but that's as, how long it took me. So it really depends on the person and, and how fast they, they can grasp the game or the platform, etc. cetera. Uh, so that was for training. Um, for teachers, you have like a general chat of the August uh, people that were hired for TAs. Um, and there is a person that answers your questions. But for teachers, so that's for TAs. And for teachers, I think at the end of their training, they get like a spe specific coach for each group. So I, I guess that's more personalized. TAs don't get so um, don't get um, that kind of personalized help. Um, teachers do extra things in their training. They can attend an actual session to see what the class is like. So they get um, you know that, those extra things, um, which I, I'm, I'm assuming they get paid for. Um, so that was the training. I did feel it was a little bit vague. So you do a module, but you're kind of left like, I'm not sure if this is right. I'm not sure if I'm kind of understanding it correctly. I'm not sure if, if like I need to know something else. And you know, um, there's not someone, there isn't someone where you could just sit down and be like, okay, hey, uh, like I have all of these questions and, and not many people are posting in the onboarding chat. So you don't want to ask like too many questions or things that might be like evidence. So for me, I, some things were still kind of unclear by the end of it. Um, and that gave me a lot of, well, not a lot, but it gave me a little bit of stress when I was going to do the actual class. Um, now for the actual class, so the second month after the training, you will start open sessions. So these, these are the students that will come into your class uh, to play a specific game. I chose the game Fish for my open sessions and our open sessions are, it can be half an hour or one hour. I chose the one hour ones and I do it with a teacher who is new as well. So she's completely new. It was her first time like me. The teacher was lovely. She's like great. Um, and we actually got together before um, before doing our session to talk over it, to play the game, to get to know each other. So all of this is like extra um, time that you're not being paid for. But I guess it's up to you if you want to put in that extra effort. For me, it was like, yeah, I, I want to do the first class right. So I want to do this. But even though I did do that, and even though I did play the game with my boyfriend to see how everything worked, I still had trouble in our first session. So there were around 12 kids. The kids were great. But we were having trouble creating the rooms or getting the like setting up the teams, getting the whole thing to work because you like the teacher and the TA can um, can edit, like configure the game, like add how many players, add the teams, all of that. But I wasn't receiving like what she was changing. Like I couldn't see what she was changing and she couldn't see what I was changing. So we were kind of working at the same time. I don't know if this makes sense to you because you haven't seen the platform. But it was just very stressful while we were in the class and we couldn't really talk to each other because there were kids there. So um, we did, you can call for help and a technician kind of will go in and help you and figure the problem out, like tell you what to do. But and we did call the TA, the TA, we did call the help button like two times during our first session. I'm not sure if that's um, what the experience was with the rest of them, but <clears throat> it was definitely, a kind of thing where you you have like 20% of the knowledge of like what you should know 100% and they kind of just throw you into the deep end of the pool when you're learning to swim. And I thought it was just me, but the teacher who is also being taught these things because she also needs to set up the game and know all of that, um, she also felt that. So it's not just me, I guess everyone will kind of feel that kind of, you know, being thrown at the deep to the deep end of the pool. And well, their motto is kind of like embrace the chaos. And I thought that was for the kids playing the game, but I think it really goes for the teachers as well. Like, you know, just go in there, embrace the chaos and, and you know, learn while you're, while you're there. Um, so it's definitely different from other companies that I've worked in. And it's definitely not like your typical teaching job where you will sit and, you know, go through slides or, you know, review the slides before you're, you're teaching it. 
it's kind of like going into it's a lot of technology so um moving on to the part of, of are you right for this job i think if you're someone that doesn't cope well with constant change and someone that doesn't really get along with technology then this really isn't the job for you um but if you like technology if you like learning new things i'm not saying it's like super hard technology but it is something like you do need to get the hang of it quite quickly you need to be quick you know clicking around and listening and you know um, being alert to what kids were absent and what kids weren't so um that's why you have a ta and a teacher one is teaching and one is kind of um you know just making sure that all the kids can go into the game they can um work through it so in the actual class i wasn't speaking much i was only kind of speaking when they were taking taken into breakout rooms so the teacher would go into one breakout room and i would go into another one and i would kind of just um leave the class there but when we were like as a whole class the teacher was doing that and i was um trying to set up the game which was a little uh difficult <laughs> at first because one thing is doing it with just one person like me and my boyfriend or me and the teacher where we played and another thing is having 12 or 16 students in one class and you know doing that <clears throat> so um i definitely think my second session which is next thursday will be will run much more smoothly i know how different things work work it's like little things where you had to do like an extra click for the game to actually show or an extra click for the kids to see it like you're not aware of all of that and you kind of just you know you learn it when the kids tell you yeah we can't see the screen so you're clicking around you're trying to get um get it to work now yes they do have the teaching training teaching module but it's a lot of information to kind of take in and it's kind of like a game like you might be able to read the 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 rules of how to play I don't know Monopoly or Catan or Risk or something but it's a whole different thing actually being in the game and you know throwing the dice and then knowing what to do and you kind of learn it as you go because someone will tell you like okay so now that you got this card this happens and you maybe read it in the rules but it's a different thing you know playing the actual thing so there's that so there's two sides to this uh teaching job or TA job there's the technology part and there's the game knowledge um and i think for tas and even teachers the technology part is a big is a big part of it so if you like technology then go for it um otherwise there is other jobs um this job also includes a lot of extra hours like extra kind of work that you're going to be doing um you know learning how the game works because there's not just one game there's a lot of games you need to read through the rules and kind of understand how it works etc So um you will need to put like those extra hours to to learn how it works apart from the training because the training is not going to teach you how the games work it just kind of tries to help you to understand the module and the platform um so the general idea of it <clears throat> so there's that um and there was a another negative part that I'm not sure about and I will include this in another future video but I did see like three teachers saying that um the company was over hiring and that they weren't receiving cohorts or sessions so that they needed to look for new jobs now because they weren't you know getting a, an income so i'm not sure if i guess you would know it as like booking rate I'm not sure how how high or low it is um but those comments at the start when i saw them um in the chat it kind of um made me feel a little uneasy cuz i'm putting a lot of hours into this and a lot of effort and if at the end of it you know after the training and everything i'm not going to have many hours then i don't really think it's worth it but i will keep going because you know i'm kind of in that leaning towards yeah i want to keep going i want to learn more about this more than the pay i would also say it's, it's quite interesting because the games are interesting the way they are set up it's really fun to play the games as well so um for me you know there's that fun part that like i want to learn new things this seems interesting i want to get the hang of it like it's a challenge that i want to it's like a challenge that i want to um overcome um at this point but i definitely would be um it would be disappointing if like afterwards i i only get like one class or three classes per month because you know definitely disappointing if that happens but i'll let you know i don't know um what it's actually like like in that part but so far this has been my experience 
I hope you understood all of it. I was trying to be as clear as possible, but you know, I one thing is explaining it to you, and then another is actually looking at the platform and seeing an, a class or an example, etc. I can't do that because that's you know the company's rights, and I don't want to share any of that information. But I do want to share my opinion and my experience with you guys.、Um, and if you have any any questions or any doubts, if you Still, are thinking about joining, but you are signing up or applying to this job, but you have questions. You know, just let me know, and I can answer them or make a new video. I will definitely make another video after this,、um, after my experience, maybe one or two months in. And yeah, I hope you you found this、um, interesting, and I hope it helped you. You know,、um, see what decision you're going to take if you want to apply, if you want to continue with your process, or if maybe this job isn't for you. Um, so I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.